In this video, we're going to go through how to beat the Profit Taker. This is one of the bounties that we have now unlocked in the back end of Fortuna. And we need to do this so that we can rank up with Little Duck. To access this boss battle, you will need to have maxed out your standing with Utico on Fortuna. So if you want to be doing this, make sure that you are running the bounties and maxing out your daily standing. Before heading into this battle, then, what you should realistically be trying to do with your weapons is try to aim to have two elements on each weapon and make it so that it's one dual element. So a composite heal would be viral and one heat element. This is because the more elements or damage types you have, the easier this is going to be. Technically, the Ignis is a poor pick because we don't have any physical damage here. It is also going to require that we have physical damage. And so I'm going to be relying on my Piranha for that, even though it's not really ideal. With that being said, make sure you run a good mixture of weapons and damage types so that you can manage match up against the different damage types that we're going to be faced with. You can also spread this out on your Necromech. And in fact, I recommend definitely making sure your Necromech is ready for this because this is going to make taking out the legs much easier, as you'll see later on, because we actually need to attack the legs of the machine with an Archimech gun. Archimex does not work for this, so it has to be an Archwing weapon. And I personally like the Corvus for this. Mine's not even fully leveled, but you'll see that it does pretty good damage. And it's worth having one in your heavy weapon slot, but we haven't gone over this in the series yet, so I will not be using it. Try to just make sure you're bringing in a good mixture. Bear in mind, the more damage types you can bring in, the better. In addition, I'm also going to be bringing along my crew member. If you don't have one of these, you can just go ahead and put a Spectre here. That'll work pretty much just as well. But we have just released the Railjack Intrinsics Farm for those that want to bring along their crew member, as it is only there as just to be an extra target, because there are going to be a lot of enemies. Moving on to the Warframe, as you can see, I'm going to be taking Trinity. You can take the Primal on prime it shouldn't make too big of a difference and i have subsumed raw on here because we haven't even gotten the first mirage yet in the series so <laughs> the idea of me subsuming eclipse on here would be would probably be incorrect for the series feed a rhino to the helminth and then you can have raw on here and then we're going to be running with link and blessing up most of the time and replenishing energy with energy vampire this is actually going to make you very good at carrying low levels and other people in the party because you're going to be blessing everybody with a 75 percent damage reduction and anything that hits you is going to get spread around to other enemies around you. This is actually going to be very, very strong in this mission. Make sure you are at old mate level with Udico here. Obviously, I've been doing a ton of bounties. It is as simple as running these missions out here. I don't think these need much of a tutorial, if I'm honest. If you have them available, and you should do if you're following on, try to do the normal ones because they'll level you up a bit faster and you'll get different rewards for that. But overall, just make sure this is maxed out. Get it progressing upwards. And then we can head over to the back room here where we'll find Yudiko again. Somehow she teleports here, in here with us. And Profit Taker's down here. This kind of almost represents itself as like a series of missions that you can just redo. But we're going to be doing the last one so that we can show you guys how to deal with the boss. I'm going to try doing this in public. If it ends up being a bit messy, I may just cut it out. We'll get a little intro. We're going to skip past that, obviously. And then we can head on out of Orvalis. Usually, you might have to wait a little second for it to be activated, but it looks like we've got players here already. So that's going to be all good. Let's get over there. The way this works to start with is if we go and see the front of the big giant spider there's an element on there and we have to hit it with the element that is signified by that picture that we can see if you don't happen to have that element there is a timer for this so somebody might have already done it you can hit it with the operator and that will change the element that it needs and that was pretty convenient for me now i can hit it with the fire It'll stay like that until we've done a certain amount of damage or until you wait long enough for it to change. And now it's changed to a new element. Now you can see I'm popping my blessing here and I'm popping the link ability. There are a lot of enemies here that are attacking me right now and they're just annihilating themselves, which is why I find this quite funny, actually. Let's get the piranha run in again. I haven't even got a raw on. Let's do some more damage. Probably need to energy vampire something. All right, so once the shield is down, we need to hit the legs with an Arcwing weapon. You see, if I hit it with this, it does absolutely nothing. This is where having the Necromech is a very good idea. And you'll see the Corvus does a ton of damage because it's a charge weapon. Unfortunately, we can't hit it like on multiple limbs at once. This does have punch through on it. And then once all the legs are broken and you've damaged the central bit, that went a bit quickly there. You can see we've got all of these barriers we need to go and sort out now. So we'll go and destroy those. And then once you've done that, you get another round of being able to damage the legs. And then once you've done a certain amount of damage, it's going to reset, and it's basically a rinse and repeat jobby from this point. 
All right then, so the main change for the third phase, as you can see, is that there is a timer. This realistically shouldn't matter too much unless you're running like really low level gear. And once you've dealt with the third phase, she's going to go down and then we can go ahead and collect the loot. Make sure you grab the toroid and it's good to see the, the resource booster does in fact work. Somebody did let me know that in one of the comments, so thank you. Which means we can half the amount of these we need to do so that we can max out Vox Solaris's syndicate.